Boy Dad Paul, we back and we live for episode 18. You know, we will have a special guest on today's show. We have Ant from We Run The Streets. You know, today we will be talking about everybody beefs. What the fuck is that, Dad? Everybody beefs is a video game that you can play on your phone. You know, I don't know that many people that's making up applications that's for the community that we watch these people on Instagram. You know, you got Darren Rue, the guy that be Dan is the man with the massive plan. You know, you have Michio. You know, uh, you have a lot of different characters that's going to be on his video game. Also, he has an event May 29th, you know, at the new complex and on Hunting Park. You know, um, he's actually having a networking event, also shining the light on different directors in the city of Philadelphia. Also, um, I want to say the Tri-State as well. Um, it's going to be a lot of different things we're going to be discussing as far as him being behind the camera, you know, him hosting DVDs, uh, <clears throat> having DVDs such as The Wire, you know, his documentary, him being involved with rappers like Meek Mill, Joey Jahad, um, many more rappers uh, such as Tierra Wack, who's also, uh, who was previously Grammy nominated, and um, his platform was the first platform for her to be on, you know, and um, we're going to have a, a nice conversation about who he is and where he's at in today's life. Welcome back to the Dev Hall Show. So we have our guest, our special guest. You know, a lot of people been trying to figure out who is this guy behind the camera. You know, we was young boys watching all these rap battles, you know, all these DVD, rap DVDs, you know, watching headshots, watching Too Raw for the Streets, watching We Run the Streets, you know, watching the Come Up Show. You know, everyone was on a Come Up Show, but we got the man right behind the camera, right in front of the camera today on the Dev Hall Show. What's up, man? What's up? What's we on the streets, man. All started with a camera. Yeah, man. How you doing today? I'm chilling. I'm live. Right Yo, now. man. Let me tell you how I ran into this guy, man. You know, I'm all about business. He Ubering and shit, man. I think he was with his fam. You know, I recognize his face. I'm like, yo, this man from we on the streets, right? Like, yeah, y'all gave him his business card. I'm like, yo, man, I love to do an interview with you, man. A lot of people would like to know a lot that went behind the camera. Uh, we actually got you in the position you are in today. Mm -hmm. um, so first things first, man. Brand name, We Run The Streets. Where'd that name come from? Uh, just in the studio one day. It was me, a um, couple people. You know, I, uh, we were just thinking about, I think the lock said uh, that we are the streets. Right. And then, you know, we just swapped out the word. We ain't never think it was going to go this far. We were just on the tip like We Run The Streets. Everything I did was just a spirit of the moment type of situation. Mm -hmm. I bought a camera, used that joint for 30 days, took that joint back. Bought another camera, did the same thing. So I gathered up all the footage. Right. And I remember, um, shout out to my man Plum. He was doing the DVD. I think uh, I'm still not a rapper DVD. And at the time I came in the game, he was just like, yo, this shit ain't the same no more. Like, just do that one joint and don't do it no more. And I just, I knew a lot of people just from growing up around the way. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was able to get so much footage. And I put it out there, just throw it out there. And, you know, the result is 11 years later, I'm still doing something. Right now, by you starting We Run The Streets and um, you really didn't think it was going to get this big now, I know I was watching your previous interview, you was basically saying like you was just coming up off of rappers like Meek and um, Head and things in that sort. So like what made you just say, you know, I'm about to like start recording these rappers and actually start dishing it out to the city so these people know who these rappers are? I'm a big fan of music, period. I just wanted to do something to help, you know, the people that was around my surroundings. All right. So the only thing I could do was hold the camera. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a rapper. I mean, so my skills was just knowing so many people. When you, it's like when you're growing up, the way that the, the people that really get recognized is the people that be everywhere. The people that, you know, network with people all day long. Mm -hmm. Like I got a networking event that I do every month and try to tell people, artists, rappers, entertainers, comedians, make sure y'all be at these, uh, these networking events, no matter if it's mine or somebody else. Right. Networking events is, is very powerful because you never know who you're going to meet. The thing with mine is I'm doing a, another award show and I'm gonna try to have it at the Met at the end of the year. So mm, every month, seven. I'm gonna do networking events to try to bring different artists, different comedians, different, no matter the genre, just different people out so I can have different people in the, in the, um, in the audience. And I acknowledge, you know, different, you know, categories. Mm -hmm. Like this, um, March the 29th, I got a joint going on. May 29th. Yeah, May 29th, I yeah. got a joint going on. And uh, I'm, I'm nominating all the best directors. Right. It's not really about the best, that's just the word that, you know, get chosen. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody doing anything. But I'm just nominating all the top directors in the city. You know what I mean, just showing them acknowledgement, showing them that they work is, you know, cause without the people like, people behind the scenes, mm -hmm. people like me, 
none of these people would get seen. That's a fact. You feel me? That's a major fact. And speaking of fact, you know, I'm not even trying to rhyme, but you got Tierra Wet, you know, <laughs> you know, for a fact. You know, Tierra Wet, she basically niece, out man. here, she making moves, and man. She making power moves. And, and uh, I always saw that in her from the beginning. Right. And we used to always say that, even when, right before she dropped, you know, the thing that woke up the world, a 15 minute uh, mixtape oh, okay. on Instagram, we were just saying, like, everything is time. No matter how you look at it, you might look at it and say, yo, I'm supposed to be popping now. No, everything time. Right. You just got to believe in your God, whatever God you believe in, just believe. And that's how I feel as though with me. I did a lot. That's why I'm telling people, just go watch my documentary. Mm -hmm. My documentary going to tell you everything. Right. It's in my bio. It tells you everything. And I got so much footage that I'm about to just start giving out on my uh, IGTV. Just the, how, how whole say, you got to be mindful sometimes. Right. I'm like, it's 11, 12 years later, and I'm still moving. I got a video game that's about to pop. Right. That's everybody beef. Everybody beef. It's right. basically the same platform. I'm still giving the artists, entertainers, a platform to get seen. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a runoff of Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat right. when I'm bringing it to the hood. Right. Whereas though your background could be where you from. Mm -hmm. you, it's going to be real characters, as you saw, you know, in my promotion. Right. Like different like stages and things. So like you actually reaching out to like people like the uh, the Instagram dancing boy Dan Ru. Dan Ru, he's um, on there. You know Michi on there. Michi Ho on there. Um, a couple uh, different people. I know you. My son gonna be on there. He's gonna be you know little big ass head. You mm -hmm. know what I mean little bottle right. running around in his pampers. Now, he's gonna make it live. Now what made you decide to come up with some type of video game for the for, for a phone? The new generation. The new generation is always on their phone. Like that's heavy to be honest. Yeah, they're not on their TVs. They're not on. They on their phone. Right. So you got to stay with the times. Right. A lot of people that's even watching this, they probably don't still even understand what the app world like. They're going to find out once, you know, I'm somewhere on the boat. Right. So it was, I've been working on the game for two years. When I first bring it out, it was like, it, to me, it was like, it looked like a turn. I knew I had upgrading to do, but I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, how many people you know you sit next to with a video game? Right. That can touch the world. Right. Like, it ain't just Philly. Like, I'm about to do a whole... Uh, a raffle. Every month, I'm gonna pick three different artists. Mm. I'm gonna, you know, from all around the world, I'm gonna let them be on the game. But okay. I'm gonna do a raffle drawing for five dollars a ticket. You know, just opening up that platform. Now, as far as the characters on the game, now, how are people submitting to be um, on That's the how they gonna submit? They gonna submit by the raffle? raffle? Yeah, I don't want nobody. I mean, to as far as the notable people, I'm, I'm talking the about as far as the notable people. The noticeable people is the people that you know we have business with. Okay. Like I said, the boy Dan Rowe. Right. He's he's doing good in his in his world. Right. So all his fans, they won't be able to, you know, control his character on the game, dance with him on the game, right. listen to music that he like. Right. It's it's it's, it's I'm way ahead of my time. It's like some Tekken type of stuff. Yeah, it just just for people to have fun. Right. Like my son be on the joint just having fun, so he be playing with my character. That's right now he be playing with my character. So imagine a little homie from down the block mm -hmm. don't got a chance. The only time he could uh, create a character is when 2K Live or Mad. Right. This joint right here, I'm bringing it straight to the hood. Now, um, I want to get um, back to the music thing. You know, you're a big fan of music. Now, in 2019, you know, we have a lot of rappers now. Everybody in their mind want to be a rapper. Right. Now, um, one thing I will say, the difference I want to say is the five minutes to ten minutes on the DVD slot versus a minute freestyle on Instagram. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel as though a lot of people are, you know, getting enough of that rapper? Yeah, because at the end of the day, you're supposed to be able to catch somebody from the first couple seconds. Like, when we used to do the DVDs, mm -hmm. it was on the tip was, sure, when you watch like a DVD, for somebody to catch the artist got to catch you within the first couple seconds. Right. Are you skipping them? The effects. Attention it's the same thing with social media. If he ain't catching you in that, in that little bit of seconds, you gonna skip. So it's, it's, you know, like I said, it's always about moving with the times. Like right. I'm about to do an uh, online DVD. The Wire 9 that I'm working on now mm -hmm. is going to be an online DVD where so you can just go to my website and catch everybody's footage that's basically going to be, you know, because it's, 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 it's bigger than just Philly now. Social media, like, y'all got to use that. That platform is everything. I ain't going to hold you. I remember copying up The Wire's. Um this is when Show Him Mall used to have that like standing in the yeah, middle right. of the mall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody had the DVDs and the CDs and stuff. Man, I remember you used to copy in a couple of your DVDs, man. Like, and I actually got a chance to actually sit here with you right now, man. I actually wanted to just let you know, just in case a lot of people didn't tell you, man. I'm proud of you. Appreciate you know, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I like to see a lot of black people, you know, succeed in life. And um, 
this is what my platform is for, you know, just to give people that instead of who you are and where you came from. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to just know for the people that actually are trying to be, you know, up and coming with this rap shit, you know, because a lot of people starting to do there's, you know, um, footage of different rappers and trying to start a, a catalog or a movement or whatever they want to call it. Like, what can you tell them, you know, to help them in life as far as being like behind they, the camera? I mean, they're artists. Or if you saying from the behind the camera stand, it's all about your content from, you know, our point of view. It's about, like, that's how I was able to do what I was doing because I was around so much of the heavy content I was able to capture. Right. So, like I said, I could put out a documentary, and that's basically what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. Put out a documentary for the last 10 years and show them that everything that's going on right now in Philadelphia with the rap shit, my brand was attached to. I just wanted to, you know, shout out to everybody that I've ever been a part of. It's just I wanted to be able to stand on my own too and be able to say, yo, listen, it's not like I believe in, all right, uh, a signed artist can get signed today, right? Yeah. Majority of them don't make it past a year. But you want to you know one thing? It's always going to be new talent coming around that corner. Mm -hmm. So until the day I die, that's always a platform for me. So I'm just gonna push my brand to be the biggest in the United States. Like when you fuck with we, we run the streets, mm -hmm. it's you known to get the views. Like I might say, all right, my following, right? Mm -hmm. I might post a post and I might not get that many likes because the gram not based on positivity. It's based on negativity. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's, but the insights and the views and shit that goes behind my page is always in the numbers. And that's how I've been doing what I've been doing for the last 12 years, making money and living off of my promotion. Mm -hmm. I ain't had no job or none of that. And then speaking of promotion, you know, I know you got your Philly, you know, your Philly, you know, 24 <laughs> hours, $24, you feel me? You yeah, got to go gotta get like it, man. That, huh? You know, you got to speak on that, man. Mm -hmm. So um, can you elaborate on that? The, the, uh, the yo Philly was just a phrase that I saw and I just figured, you know, like, yo is a, is a, is a, is a caption. And everybody say it. They might text your phone, yo. Right. So I'm like, all right, yo Philly, mm -hmm. yo LA, yo Atlanta, mm -hmm. yo this, yo that. It's just a phrase that I, I, I just figured that if they don't catch on a day, they're going to catch on. Thanks. Even with the $24 for 24 hours, mm -hmm. that's a promotion package. Whereas though, i like, all right, when you when you in the market that we in, you got to understand that you got to figure out a type of commercial. You watch a little commercials that be on TV that you probably remember just off of what they saying. Mm -hmm and it might draw attention. So I, I, that's what I look at. I just look at anything that can draw attention. So $24 for 24 hours is just wrong. Right. So somebody might just remember that. A little kid might remember that. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you just get promotion on my page for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Now, um, I want to get back. You know, it's a lot of people that want to ask these questions, man. Like I told you behind the cameras, you know, I got to ask you these questions. You're probably tired of hearing this shit. But um, as far as you start in the weed on the streets, right? You know, a lot of different DVDs was out. Um, I'm pretty sure that was mm -hmm. trying to come up. Um, while you was out here doing your thing, um, did you have any type of like any type of beef behind this type of shit, man? I, I never. Or you wasn't paying heard, attention yeah. to that type of stuff. When you doing what you doing, you ain't got time. Right now, the reason I say that though, like you know, like it's a lot of different people that like do certain things. You feel me? Like, and no matter how you try to have tunnel vision, you always like try. Like, no matter if you try to pay, not trying to pay attention to it or not, you're gonna hear something. Like, have you ever had like, damn, my body niggas trying like. Worry about what the fuck I'm doing and shit like that. Like, to, to keep it all it never mind. happened. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I had I had a situation one time, right? You run into a lot of different artists, bro. Like, you, you feel me? You're not just running into like underground rappers. I'm saying it's like, like you run into was, like a lot of celebrities. I was out celebrities there doing what I was doing for, them, for the first couple of years. I was pulling up on any block at any type of convenience, no matter what it is. I was chasing that money. Right. So, depending, like, times change. You see what I'm saying? So, depending on what the situation is, I was always good with a lot of different people because I came to do a job. That's it. I ain't want to be homies. I ain't want to be friends. If we grew, we grew. But it was more about me doing the job, just getting the job done. That's all I ever really cared about. Mm -hmm. I don't care about feelings. It's about doing the job, period. I don't care who it is. My mm -hmm. mom, my brother, no matter who it is, it's about doing the job that somebody paid me for. Mm -hmm. So if somebody ever felt some type of way, they ain't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. They had a problem with the brand. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because even like now, if somebody was to, to, to have a rumor about me, I wouldn't even pay attention to it because I'd be with my family outside of this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's no room for any of that type of shit. So people that, that, that involve themselves in that to me, they allow themselves. 
Because mm-hmm. if you just focus on the tunnel vision that you accomplish, mm-hmm. that's that's why you think niggas have bodyguards around. That mean they could, that's why you have niggas like six nine and on. They was talking all that shit because they know ain't no way in the world people get around, can get to them. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of like my well, tunnel vision. Move, right. My right. tunnel vision is I got everything around me that's blocking that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm only worrying about the money and what I'm trying to do next. So I'm never really worried about the hate. I don't even speak that word. Right. I mean, like, what they say, you shit come back to you whatever you put, on, put into the air. Mm-hmm. You put negativity to the air, that shit gonna come back some type of way. Let me speak that shit. Makes sense now. Now, I just wanna ask you this last question. Like, so what's next for We On The Streets, for those that, like, been looking out for the, We On The Streets? Um, the biggest marketing promotion company across the world. Like I said, this video game is about to really change, change it because it's the way I'm putting it out there. I'm not worrying about the industry fucking with it. I'm not worrying about the niggas in the industry fucking with it. I have a, uh, I have a big impact with people in the hood messing with it. Like when I first put it out, I had my block on the hood. Mm-hmm. I mean, my block on the game. Niggas was like, yo, 24th Street, really on a video game that's worldwide. Niggas was loving that. Mm-hmm. So I feel as though all the artists that I'm gonna have on there, if they represent where they from, they got their music on there, they got their apparel, I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my bread. I'm not worrying about competing with nobody. Because I know what I'm gonna do. I got three video games that's coming out. Mm-hmm. I got a health game that's coming out. You know how big that is? The the be doing something with health. Health as well. I just really can't speak about it because you know this shit is getting done. Right. I'm in the technology world. So whatever I'm doing is gonna be big regardless. Mm-hmm. And once you and once you start doing something, everything else just come along with it. All right, so I'll follow right through. You know what I mean, so before I get out of here, make sure y'all fuck with my nigga Spazzy. You know what I mean, you know I'm still fucking with Santos. You know what I mean, shout out to Tierra Wang. She definitely doing her thing. Shout out to Meek. Shout out to AR Ad. Everybody that ever did something in Philly, really, they brand is really connected to mine. That's right. No matter who it is, come you up, can, show you all your name shit. Right now, um, a lot of people will probably ask this, like, Dad, why you ain't asking? You know I rap now. The Wire Nine, you know, online DVD. Let's say if people are interested in that. Like, how can people say, oh, can I get on the show? Just DM me. Just DM me on call 267-580-9787. Mm-hmm. We can talk business. I just do business all day. I'm just trying to build a team around me to take care of everything that need, that somebody need. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I love the way y'all set your, y'all situation up. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to be doing a, uh, a TV show, and I want y'all to be a part of it. Respect. You know I, mean? I appreciate that. So, uh... May the court is media, you know that. May the 29th, make sure y'all be down there at the uh, New Style Complex, 1640 West 100th Park. Network. Just, I'm, I'm bringing the people out there for y'all to network with them. If I'm not mistaken, is new um, that new Plex, John? That's right on top of that that on top of that uh, car stuff. car John. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's nice in there too. Real nice. Right, I've been inside that mm-hmm. John. Well, I appreciate you stopping by the Dev Hall show, yeah. and um, I wish you the best in the, um, everything you got going on, man. Especially with everybody beefs, you know the health game, you know the new never unnoticed event. No, um, no, nothing goes unnoticed. Nothing goes unnoticed. Nothing goes unnoticed. At the end of the day, like I say, I'm doing a war show and I'm gonna let the people judge who you know who win. It ain't about me when I'm doing something about not acknowledging y'all, giving y'all certificates. Right. I mean, you know, where's though you can put it on your wall. You might not never got an award a day in your life. Getting some type of recognition. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Mm-hmm. Okay.